people used to pose for photographs, not so as to be just the momentary cheerful thing, but to present their whole life if they could. And that meant sort of, as it were, standing to attention as a guard of yourself. Um, and um, all 19th century photographs for that reason have this incredible solemnity. Um, we've lost that, and of course, the selfie is the kind of the, the ultimate limit of this. You know, you're just nothing really matters except this idiot smiling face in front of it. Right. Uh, that was the word of the year a couple of years ago, and I, I thought it was interesting. Mm. In Arabic, one of the things that I always do with with words is I translate them into Arabic to mm. see how they sound, <laughs> and and the word in Arabic nefsi yeah, yeah. is probably one of the most negative terms right. in the. Islamic tradition, right. you know, so you would call a selfie a nafsi, mm. <laughs> and it's basically, it's, it's an egoistic, uh, narcissistic type of right. thing. There's, there's a tradition where the Prophet Muhammad, uh, somebody knocked on his door, وسلم, and he said, who's there? And the man said, Anna which is mm -hmm. me. Right. Yeah. And many Arabs will actually, when, when they're talking and they want to say they did something, they'll say, ana wa a'udhu billahi min ana. Mm -hmm. You know, they say I, and then they say, and I seek refuge in Allah from I. <laughs> as, yeah. as a kind of way of saying, I don't, I don't want to boast. Right. And, and, and so when the Prophet heard that, he said, ana, ana. And in the commentary of the hadith, the, the narrator says, as if he disliked it. Right. In other yeah. words, say who you are. Don't say yeah, yeah. I as if we are supposed to know right. who you are. And I think the, the idea, and Weaver again talks about this, um, this egoistic, I mean, he, he saw it as an inf infantile self that was emerging, the spoiled child. He calls it the spoiled child in, mm. in his book, which to me is fascinating that he wrote it in 1946. Mm. Uh, and was already seeing this long before the culture of narcissism, for instance, came out yeah. back in the 70s.